he made a lot of plays. Um, honestly, I feel like pretty good since I've there. He made some stops, though. So. Where, where were you when you were three years um, Year three, uh, I had more knowledge of like, the playbook, so I know where I need to be in certain run fits and certain plays compared to my freshman year. I was out there just trying to learn a technique. You're facing against off against this offense every day in practice, whatever. What what stands out to you about Canada's offense and some of these offensive skill guys? Um, just with like the adjustments. It's a lot of motions, a lot of shifts, so that's one thing that's really tough about the, uh, the offense. Also like we got we got a great running back for Todd Johnson, um, Anthony McFarland, so those guys are tough to keep with their practice every day. Different quarterbacks make different type of plays. You know, there's some quarterbacks that can scramble, and some quarterbacks that can throw. We have both of them, so that can make it tough to know throughout the week. Yeah. Tough would be to not have Trey Watson. First half, first half, first half. Do you think it's kind of going to step up in his absence? Uh, I mean, it's going to be tough, but you know, we got guys, we got depth in this team. So guys like um, Isaiah Davis, um, Chance, you know, those guys got to step up and make plays in the game. So we got the depth for it. So we can start. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. What have you enjoyed now that you are doing the position? You seem very prideful being the corner. Uh, I just, like uh, just making plays, you know. Uh, you know, making a spark for the defense. That's what I like about it. You know, the pass break up, right? big tackle, big hit. That's what I like about playing corner. Is there a sort of game where you can get five, five breakups in the second half? That's a fair response. It's just a fine line that you try to, to, to go between being aggressive but not putting yourself in position. I'm just all about just having boys, you know. Um, just knowing like how the ball's coming in, how the receiver's gonna catch it. Just look at the receiver, not, not just try to be too aggressive and play. Does your background as, as a receiver give you, you know, some insight on what a, what a receiver might try to do against you? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely give me insight. Um, sometimes I can tell just by the stem or the release of the receiver, I can tell what route he's running. Can you kind of go to the D-back you like the watch? Uh, there's a lot. There's Patrick Peterson, like the watch, um, Richard Sherman, and Mark Stevens. When you first started playing the position, what was some like the hardest things to Um, I mean, I, I'll say the hardest things is knowing the playbook. Like, you know, I wasn't used to learning the defensive playbook. I was used to just running routes and trying to figure out what the zone it is for the uh, defense. So now it's just, I had to flip it. So I just had to learn like the playbook, like what step to take in the corner. So that was the only like challenge part. I would say like when he got injured, like he kind of like stepped back from like and just helped me, mentor me, and show me how to you know, look at film, watch film, look at the breaks out of the receivers. So that's one thing I say. 